everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about this product right here. It is the Sunkist Clear Mousse Express Tan. So I'm not really a tanning person, as you all know. It's just not something I tend to wear. But if I do, I always purchase the St. Moritz Express. It's $2.99 and it's just really handy and easy to use. It's got a really good colour guide. It's just works it works i leave it on for three hours i take it off bob's your uncle by the morning i wake up with really good tan the thing with me is i just don't wear enough tan for me to go and purchase a really expensive one so i am always on the lookout for budget friendly false tans and this is the same price as the saint moritz so the only reason why i purchased this was because saint moritz just wasn't available i couldn't find one in the in the omen bargain i couldn't find one in b m so i just thought right I'll have to give something else a go and I gave this one a go instead. So this is the Sunkiss Clear Express. Please do excuse any noises in the background. It's 25 degrees today in Liverpool. It's really, really hot. So I've had to put the, the filming equipment right underneath my window to get that breeze because my fan's too noisy and you'll hear it. So this is why I look like this. I'm literally just chilling in the house. I've got a tiny bit of brow gel in literally what are these eyebrows but a tiny bit of brow gel in and like l'oreal lumi lotion and that's pretty much it like it's not this is not my gorgeous look i know it's not also the fenty beauty pouticle i've got on as you all know i love them but this has been on for a good few hours now so just in case you're wondering what's on my lips it is linked down below because the fenty pouticles are amazing absolutely amazing but that is not what this video is about this video is about this product we're going to get into the video i'm going to talk about the product first then i'm going to show you the application and outcome and then i'm going to come back to you and talk to you because i did actually apply this about two weeks ago i just have not had a chance to film the intro and outro so with that being said let's just get into the video so let's talk a little bit about this product what it says is that it's a one hour tan it's 95 percent natural formula vegan cruelty free and no transfer it is a clear product on the back, it also adds that it is um, the label is derived from sugarcane, it's sustainable packaging, dermatologically tested, made in the UK, and the bottle is made from recycled plastic. So they make it very clear that they are also really good in the sense of the company working to make more sustainable products and good for the earth, which is what we all like to hear. It also says that it lasts up to five days, contains ethically sourced seaweed, coconut fragrance, quick drying, no transfer. It has a nourishing formula and fast acting mousse. And then the, the color guide on the back gives a one hour, three hour, five hour and eight hour. So I'm gonna try and show you if that goes into focus. Obviously one hour, three hour, five hour, eight hour. So I purchased this in the B&M, it was 2 dollars same price as my St. Moritz, the only difference is that it's clear. So with that being said, I'm gonna show you what it was like to apply and what the outcome was, and then I'll come back to you after that with my full review. Me just showing you my legs before I put the tan on. As you can see, I am rather pale on my leg area. A bit like Edward Cullen, you know. Me and Edward have a little bit of a bond. But as you can see, they were pasty. Now, I shaved my legs two days prior to applying tan. And then I shaved them afterwards when I need to. And then this is my arm as well. This is slightly darker than my leg just because I catch the sun a little bit more on my arms. Because they, they are out more. This is me putting it on the mitt. And then I'm just going to show you in slow-mo how I apply it. So, I've always done up and down motions with bottled false tan if i was to do a spray tan i go across left to right or right to left whichever way i feel but when i'm doing self tan out of a bottle i do feel going up and down you do get better coverage rather than doing circles i feel like if you start off with up and down and then go into circles you'll be much better off it just covers all bases as you can see it doesn't even have that much of a shine when you're putting it on straight away that's how quick it absorbs into the skin and this is just me showing you the reflection just so you can see it but to the touch this was relatively dry and then it did mat down completely and then i'm just going to show you it again from this angle just so you can see it a bit more i did do all the leg there is no color guard there's literally nothing that is the way it goes on and i went over and over and over so i did really want to make sure that i covered all bases so this is me showing you it cooking as you can see i fell over well i fell up the stairs the tan did cling to where i'd fell and then this is a just before I'm getting in the shower, but it is expected to cling to that area where it fell because that is what happens. As you can see on the foot area, it started to really cook. And this is me showing you on the other leg before I got in the shower because you could see it better in that light that the tan was already developing and the brown 
golden skin glow was just coming straight into play and then as you can see my arms took on an even nicer glow this is me straight out the shower i popped my body butter on and as you can see it doesn't even look like i've got much on but on my knee area you can just see that little patch nonetheless i body buttered and got into bed so this is me after my second shower with body butter on the next morning do you know what on most of the leg it looked lovely the color really did look really nice there was slight gathering on the knee area there must have obviously been some dry patches and then wait till you see my feet i honestly do not know what went wrong but wait just wait wait and there it is i went in between my toes i went right over my toes i honestly do not know what happened and i genuinely think it's because the tan is clear you cannot see where you're putting it wait till you see the side of my feet it's even worse because i know for a fact i go right underneath to where my sole is so i don't know how i've ended up with this perfect line like honestly i've got no clue but you couldn't buff it. It was so hard to buff around that area because it was absorbing so fast. As you can see, again, where I fell over, it gathered, but I did expect that. And then this is me just showing you it again from another angle on the side of my foot. Now, don't get me wrong, I know my feet are a lot drier than the rest of my body is, so I understand it could gather there a bit more than anywhere else, but not with that line because I know for a fact I did not do <laughs> and now whenever then i'm going to show you my other leg and you're going to see a lovely white patch again don't know what happened on the inside of my knee again there's a patch as well not sure what happened there it just i don't know if my legs have like been squashed together in my sleep and it's done something but i definitely didn't let me body parts touch while it was you know expressing during them three hours that actually sounds vile saying expressing but you get what i'm saying i don't know what happened i just genuinely don't and the legs weren't even the worst bit about the patchiness as in bits that were missed because the product actually isn't patchy it's just i've missed areas but it's even worse on my arms you can see yeah i've got bits missing on the side of my hands there was bits missing on the inside of my arm and i honestly have no idea how because i went over the area so many times but like i said with it being so fast absorbing it was really hard to make sure every bit moved into the right place because it was already drying in so i'm oh, i've got no idea how it happened but yeah, I was going out the next day and knew my arms were going to be out, so it was even more annoying because I knew I had to make sure every bit of me was covered and being clear, I just, I clearly didn't see that it wasn't. So let's talk about it. So as you can see from the application, it went on well in certain areas and it didn't in other areas. I honestly don't know what happened. I am a spray tan technician. I've done spray tans for years and I mean years, I never had an issue. My tans were always really, really good. But being clear, it threw me. It completely threw me. I've always used tan with a colour guide and there's a reason for it. It works so much better. But let's just do a little breakdown of the issues I found and what it claims and what did work and what didn't work. So one of the first claims is that it lasts up to five days. Now, obviously, I haven't got this tan on now because I never found time to film the intro and outro and this was done two weeks ago. This did last me, I would say, seven days. It was on my skin for at least five, and I would go as far as to say certain areas. I felt as though it held on a little bit longer, but it definitely, definitely lasted me the five days, if not more. It didn't, it faded immaculately. It didn't flake, it didn't go patchy, it didn't go crusty or scaly. Obviously, I maintain my moisture by applying my body butter every single day, so that does help. But I've never really had a tan go scaly on me and I do genuinely think it's got to be the way you're treating your tan post application. I make sure I moisturise all the time and I exfoliate towards the end to ensure that it even, evenly fades. And this is exactly what happened with this. It evenly faded. It didn't have any issues with it and it definitely lasted five days. Then it goes on to say that it's got a coconut fragrance. It does. It does have a coconut fragrance. However, it doesn't have a coconut fragrance for long. So like if I smell it now, coconut, if I apply that to my skin within five minutes, it's no longer coconut, it stinks of tan. And it stinks while it's on, which is fine. I expect that, that happens with the same with it. But when I, the reason why I like Express is one, I'm not sleeping in it. And two, I get to wash it off and the smell isn't as bad. So what I would do is I jump in the shower, I wash it off, I apply body butter all over me 
and then I get in some really baggy pajamas and normally I can only smell a slight just a little bit of tan like a but not much with this I didn't have to because it was just underneath my nose the whole time I could I could smell it while I was asleep like it was genuinely just that one a poignant tan smell and I hate that like I can't stand it like it makes everything smell your bed cheeks your clothing like it's just horrible but when it washed off the second time I couldn't smell it at all which is what normally happens with St. Moritz I sleep I wake up to a tiny tiny smell of tan and I get in the shower wash that off and it's done that's it then there's no scent on my skin whereas this one it was definitely poignant in the morning and then when I washed it, it was fine. So I don't mind that so long as by the second wash it goes, but I'd just rather not have the smell while I'm sleeping, like not to the level that this one had. Then it goes on to say that it's quick drying and no transfer. It's definitely quick drying and I think that's the problem as to why I've missed areas. So I think with this product, as you're putting it on, as you could see, I do it up and down. I felt as though it was sticking felt as though my mitt was sticking to my skin and I genuinely think the mitt was sticking to my skin because it was drying down and I wasn't getting the time to work with the product and really buff it into the skin. The fact that it's clear, you've got to make sure you're getting your application right and then obviously with it being fast absorbent, it's just a bit of a combo, which is not the greatest of combos because you're not getting that time to work with the product in order to make sure you've got all the areas. I'd just say it's a little bit too fast absorbent for you to be working with a clear product. So yeah it is fast absorbent and it didn't transfer it didn't have anything on me clothing on my bed nor not in the next morning which is exactly what i didn't want i didn't have any on my clothing or bedding while it was on while it was cooking before i got in the shower it was genuinely a no transfer product but the fast absorber made it a lot harder to work with it has a nourishing formula again it says i had no issues with it feeling dry on my skin or making my skin look flaky or patchy or anything like that so i do genuinely think that comes down to the nourishing formula and then it's a fast acting it is actually i'd say it's probably quicker acting than the saint moritz i think the saint moritz i prefer if i'm going out of a weekend i will do two nights worth of tan i'll do three hour express wednesday three hour express thursday and then friday i won't put anything on and then th saturday i'll go out with this one i do think that it just seems to work a lot quicker um the fact that it's clear i think you use more of the product i think because if you think about it that's where the bubbles are so that's how much i've used on a body application from toe to neck so if it's that much there then it's that much there and it's that much there so you're getting three applications out of this bottle maximum three whereas with my other one at my saint moritz i get at least four or five and it i get at least five i genuinely think when there's a color guide it works so much more obviously the color guides on the saint moritz one is scary and it's called darker than dark because you, i mean i'm assuming you can get to that color um i only again wear that for three hours so the glow I get, like, honestly, when I say I can tan 10 times darker than the tan I put on my skin, I actually tan really, really well for a pale person. No one ever believes me until I show them pictures, but I do tan really, really well, and I actually go really, really, really tanned. Um, I just choose not to sit in the sun. That is the reason why. So when I pop a tan on and it's light, I do expect it to sort of work straight away because there isn't much to it whereas if someone's putting a much darker tan on i can understand why it's a little bit more difficult to get that correct which i know that from doing spray tans you need to make sure you're getting it in all the right places and that's why there is a color guide whereas with the clear you've got no color guide and you're just hoping and playing you've got all the all the bits that you needed and as you can see from the footage i did not what I will say, I got a lot of compliments on the colour. Now, I actually wasn't that fussed on the colour. I felt like it had a little bit of a more orangey tone. But when I was out and about, everyone kept saying, oh, that tan's nice. Oh, haven't you got a lovely glow? Well, have you been sitting in the sun? Because at the time, it was sunny, as it is still now. Um, and I was like, no. I was like, it's false tan. And they were like, lovely colour that. Which one's that one? And I didn't particularly like the colour. I don't know whether I just was having a fight with the tan because of the patchiness and the, the mist part. Maybe I was just being a little bit bit negative towards the colour we could call it but a lot of people did compliment me even me nan said oh have you been sitting in the sun and I was like no <laughs> it's just easier sometimes to tell me nan that I am because she doesn't understand what I'm doing but um yeah the colour I wasn't as fussed with but a lot of people did like so I'm gonna give this a six out of ten 
it's not great it's not awful it's just hard to work with in my opinion they do sell an express with a, a color guide in so i'll definitely give that a go for 2.99 as well so we'll give that a purchase and when i put this on tiktok so many people complimented all the tans they use and i want to give them a go but some of them are like 25 pounds and i'm like don't really want to spend 25 pounds on a tan but with that being said, I'm going to conclude this video because I can see a group of people all about to talk right at the bottom of my window because they've all got kids and they're walking dogs and it's just like, it's so hard to film their windows because everyone's outside because it's sunny as well. You can hear, hear everything. So yeah, I'm going to just vacate and go now. So I hope you liked the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.